Good morning. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Hello. Oh. My lipstick's looking extra, extra this morning. You know, you put your makeup on and it's supposed to last you all day. Um, today is going to be our Christmas decorating day. Uh, I'm bringing everything up. I told you guys I was going to try to do it today and it's going to happen. So <laughs> I thought I would um, show you guys some of the things that I have um, before I decorate for Christmas because I know we've made some things and I know I picked up some things at the market and I was sharing those ideas with you guys. I need a pair of glasses. I forgot to grab my glasses. Oh, look, there's like 10 pair laying here by my table. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Karen. You guys, I know it's super early um, for... Uh, glasses are dirty. I know it's super early for a lot of you that live far away. Hi, April. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. Yay, you guys are coming on. Good morning. So, um, and oh, there's a good view of my ceiling. I always do that. I'm holding my phone because I'm going to walk around and show you some things. And I know that you guys, good morning, Andrea. Gosh, I thought everyone would still be in bed. I'm in Ohio, so I'm Eastern Standard Time. Hi, Debbie. I know that like my kids are a couple of hours behind me now with the time change. Hi, Duana. I'm not sure how Abby, if her time changes or not in California. I don't know. She's been three hours. I'm not sure. These girls, I wish they would just at least live in the same time zone, right? Hey, Shayla, good morning. Good morning. So you guys that are on my message, my text message, hey, hey, Penny, what do you say? Um... Oh, Debbie, you're in Columbus. Well, gosh, we're close. We're close. Uh, I texted those of you that are in my text group and gave you a heads up. Good morning, Julie, that I am going to be probably live a couple of times today. Um, I thought I would do another one. We're going to drag everything up here. And then I kind of want to go through it and show you. Um, and then I'm going to do my thing. And then I'll show you when I'm all done. Hi, Sophia. Hello. Probably not. I always say this. Probably not the best one to watch for the first time. I'm not making anything crafty. I, I think, oh, every, you know, I always feel like I have to make something. But I don't think I do. I think I like to just show you guys what I do. So um, I'm going to flip the phone now. And I'm going to show you, like, the project that we made the other night with the book. I told you you're just going to lean it up against a... Um, you're going to lean it up, hi, Deborah, up against a lamp, which I did. And then I'm going to go back and show you guys how it looks just sitting there. Hi, Michelle. Hi, friend. You're so pretty. Okay, so here's what we have. I um Oh, my husband, a friend of his gave him this bell. He was doing a, I think he was doing like a water treatment plant or something up in Amish country and he found a bunch of bells in the trash can. So he gave all of us, all of the husbands a bell for their wives. And my husband likes it a lot. So I just, I'd like to cut the leather strap down or do something because um, it was literally tied to an animal. I love the bell, but the straps is kind of yucky to me. <laughs> <laughs> but he likes it, so that's where I stuck it. I, I'll I'll put some greenery or do something to. I need to do something about that. Maybe I'll cut it down. He'd never know. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, so okay, here's our book that we made the other day, and I just thought it turned out so cute. Hi, Vicky, and I thought you guys need to be considering making something like this. Of course, I just used vintage papers, but you guys could totally do pictures or keepsakes. Um, oh, thank you, Michelle. You like the strap, Joyce? Yeah, that's what he says. I mean, I love the buckle on the strap, but I just, the, the tail of the strap, maybe it just needs one of those, you know, grabber things to hold it down. I just don't like that part. See, it needs that. Maybe I can figure out how to tape it down. <laughs> Yeah, E6000, there you go. That's what I need. <laughs> Karen, that fixes everything. So, oh, Marla, thanks for sprinkling the vintage. I love that so much. Thank you. Um, okay, so, so, all right, where do we begin? So this is a old architectural piece that I found at an antique show, and I didn't really know what to do with it, but I absolutely loved it. Oh, it's is it dusty? Oh, I think it's, I don't know, it kind of looks dusty. I think it's dusty. 
<laughs> I'm going to have to clean that. <laughs> um, it's so dusty. It's like built in. Um, so I hung it there. I hung it low below the lamp, like as a see-through thing. And I kind of like how that is placed. Um, thanks, Andrea. You like the book? Thank you. I made that here on the live uh, not too long ago, just like a couple of days ago. So you should be able to scroll right back and find it. Um, these were some... Uh, uh, spindles that I found already made like that and I just set them up on an old uh, on an old book okay and then I found these German drawers remember the little cabinet that we're doing over for Christmas those of you that have been with me for a while um, so I just wanted the little drawers and we're going to make a little Christmas cabinet out of it. And then the, the, the plastery looking apples you could totally make them but I got them uh, oh, I got them up in Amish country for $9.99. I always leave the prices on because you guys know me. I rotate stuff. And $12.99. <laughs> but I guess I got them at a at a craft fair. It would be fun to try to make them. Maybe we will. I have some green apples. We'll see. Anyway, you like the strap. It does tell the story, Beverly. I think it's just that flappy thing that's hanging. Maybe if I scooted the bell down and rearrange, I'll see what I can do with that. Oh, I'll see what I'll do with that and make it better. Um, use brown pony to, oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. You use them on, okay, oh, that's a great idea. All right, you guys, you have inspired me to try and fix my strap. <laughs> okay, and then of course I have a plop. You guys know I sell these plops. This one's $11. The plops are on my website and they're just awesome for adding, easily adding a little greenery. So hi, Linda. Um, so you like the ladder, Edith? Look how it does at the bottom. I'm taking way too long. I was going to be whipping this out fast. It gets fat at the bottom and then it gets skinny. Can you tell? Like it's an awesome ladder. I have, I have a couple of ladders now. I've sold some of them, but I've kept this one because I love the shape of it. And actually my friend Julie, it was hers and she decided to sell it. And I'm like, yeah, I was with her when she bought it. And now it's mine. So, okay, remember when I was at that um, market down in Dayton and I bought that, that wire full of tags? There is my tags, and I love... Um, I do love the peddler in Amish country. At your favorite shop? Oh, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. Um, you want to go to the Christmas... Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Uh, okay, so I put it in one of our English jars. You guys know I have a lot of these... Um, English advertising jars. These English jars are one-time use uh, in England back a hundred years ago. So I'm sorry, I just got a phone call. When they're done with the food that was in them, they pitched them. They threw them away. So sometimes there's chips and cracks and things, but I have a, I have a lady that, uh, that ships to me from England so I can wholesale purchase for you guys. So they're all on my website. It's TammyLovesVintage.com, Debbie. I'm just online now. I had a store in New Concord, but I closed it, and now I am just online. Um, I closed it like the month before COVID hit, too. Isn't that crazy? Lucky God was watching me. I didn't want to do it. I was so sad, but when everything hit, I was very thankful. And, you know, you just know, you just know that he's leading you the right way. Um, you've been finding more antique or junk stores around town. Oh, I know, Linda. Uh, okay, so this is an ironstone pitcher. I absolutely love this pitcher. I was at Farmhouse Frocks up in Amish country in Millersburg, and I loved the staining on this. You guys know that like ironstone can be perfectly white, but I really like the crazing. See these cracks? I'm moving in here so you guys can see. The cracks are called crazing, and it actually happens underneath the uh, glazing. Like, you can't feel the cracks, but that's called crazing. It's not a crack, even though it looks like little tiny cracks, like an eggshell crack. And then look at this doily that I found. I've never found such a chunky, awesome doily, so I love that. Um, that was in a stack of doilies that I bought to resell. And then this is one of those cheese molds um, or cheese. I think it's a cheese mold. And I love all of the buttons on it. Now, I bought this at auction and it had no lid on it. So I thought immediately I'm going to flip it over and use it as a riser. But see the texture of the buttons and how cool that is. And then the latest Etsy find were these cash register tags. And I know I've, I think I've shown you guys this when I first got them. Julie was here and we were poking them around where to put them. And we came up with this spot and I really, 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 really like it. 
Um, here's Fiona. This is Fiona. <laughs> she's my little, um, she's my little, uh, fiddle leaf fig. I haven't killed her yet. Put her in a crock. She seems to like it there. And then this is a, a curtain stretcher, you guys, and there's numbers on it. See the numbers? So I thought that was a super way, a super cool way to, um, there you go. A super cool way to make a stick for my my little girl here to grow on. So, okay, let's go, <laughs> let's go around where I'm not going to go through all the collections. Like I have my, my sewing collection there and I'm going to, we're making a lamp. I think I'm going to put it there. Um, but here's what I wanted to really show you guys. Um, oh, you like them, Michelle? Yeah. I, I love those register tags. I see them from time to time. I've never bought any, but I really like the one that said no sale. I loved getting that one. So I thought that was a treasure. So this is what I really wanted to show you besides the book. And it is the things that I've made. And well, just this, remember the book that was trashed on the one side. I added it to my Ohio statistics. I thought the gold looked good and the gold on this matched well. Here's another plop you can find on our website. This one is $10. And again, a plop just literally, I name them plops. Um, don't go to the store and ask for their plops because no one will know what you're talking about. But the, you just literally just plop and it's done. Like here, I can plop it up here in this bowl plop and see how good they are. I have lots of plops um, because I love them. And I think when people don't know how to do their greenery and stuff that, yeah, you do a plop. And yeah, see, I have a branch back here, but I took a big, here, I took this out. This right here is on the website. I have them in red and green. So you're going to be seeing some red ones. See, I had it like that, but then I felt like I was getting too much because <laughs> it's pretty tight. <laughs> So I moved the ball up there, but here's the other things I wanted to show you. Remember the abacus that I bought and the wheel that I bought? Look how they just pop. That wheel is amazing. Um, yeah, you say plops too, Linda. Exactly. I'm kind of starting to see them at some stores, but um, oh, here's another plop down here. There's another plop right there. I'm a plopper. <laughs> I got lots of plops. So, all right, back to it. So these are the English advertising uh, original jars that were found. This was a marmalade. This was a potted meats. I was able to get a ton of potted meats. She got a whole shipment and I took them all. So for you guys that are wanting any of these, um, now sometimes like see this one has a big crack in it and a chip. I mean, these were literally thrown in the dumpster or in the, not the dumpster, but in the trash because once they ate the marmalade, they threw it away. Like we throw away a peanut butter container. So now we're all digging them up and finding them and thrilled with them. And so it's part of my collections. Um, there's my old organ poles. Here is some cash register wheels that I put in my little German drawer and then my my big ball. But I, I kind of like it up here just to add a little greenery up high. Um, see, it just adds a little something, but I don't like being able to see that branch. But I knew I'm tearing this all down today. So, um, and then I found this bowl and you know what? It's just look at it. It's just so cool. I just loved the coloring on it. So I'm not, I'm more after the different colors of ironstone than the white. I just feel like it makes it look even older. Um, and then here is our artichokes. I think I've sold the last of the artichokes. We do have some of this hang down on the, um, on the website and I'm getting ready to put some Christmas stuff on the website today. Um, so there's the abacus and the wheel. And then just a couple of those little collection things that I like to make. We made these in our group. Um, I don't think you guys saw those. And look, another plop. Oh, no, this isn't plops. This is the dill. These are picks. I have two picks, you see. They are $5.99. And I know I have plenty of them. I love the dill, you guys. I can use the dill year-round. It's great in the spring um, in the summer because it's kind of a brighter green, but yet there's a darker green in there. And then see these tips, they work great in the fall, but there's just enough of a hint of a burnt red color that even through Christmas, these work great. So those are a great year round kind of wispy um, greenery. That's good. So, and then what else? Let's see, what else do I have here? 
Anything else you might like? I moved my German book. Um, I love the great big font on this one. You guys know I try to pick up any German book I can, and the pages are always included in your paper packets that you can find online. Oh, you got your greenery. Good, Linda. Hi, Gina. Good morning. And then my little scale. I think I'm going to leave this out for Christmas Day course since it's red. But I... Um, I love the little doll baby buttons. They're just so sweet. And I thought the scale was great. And I, f I came up with these um, weights. They didn't go with it, but they fit it. They're, the scale came with no weights. It just had these little circles for the weights. But I had these. So I think they... I like it better with something. So I put the big one that didn't fit over there. I think it works great. And I think it finished it out great. Um, down here is just a couple of bottles that I made. We're getting down in the dark. This is a cool box. We made this in our group a long, a long time ago. If you have any cheese box or anything, we added a bunch of papers to it. And um, I don't know, I thought it was really cool. It's just a little drawer, but you could do it with any size drawer. And my little wrecker, he's cute. He just had a look. I don't collect I don't collect toys, but I don't know why. He just had a good look. Um, so there's another book that I saved. Like when we saved this book um, the other day uh, because the jacket was all black taped. The same with this big one. And I loved the indented, like, uh, can you tell? Like, see how the all of the, indent, the indented or carved sort of jacket? So we just added papers and lace to finish the edges. Um, this is, let's see, here's some more ironstone. Love the ironstone. I have some, um, some reproduction ironstone on my website, a larger and a smaller picture, kind of in between this. This is like in between them. The larger one's a little bigger than this and the smaller one's a little smaller. And there's my beans. You guys know I do the beans. So I'll switch these out for probably the Christmas ones. Or I might do the red because these balls are, these little seed balls are awesome and they won't show up in the green. So I'll probably switch them. And this, this just had a little pumpkin in it. So I just left it up there in case. Here's my, um, good morning. Hi, here's my uh, little, this was one of the first collages I ever made. You guys remember my wooden angel that I found with a broken wing? I love how she fits with my picture. Um, so yeah, so this was a collection of like old clock faces and old parts and pieces and like people would gift me the levels. So I've got three levels um, that are attached and then all of the, like you guys could screenshot just to study it if you want to. I've had people ask me to send them pictures close up, so there you go. And then I added the, um, I had that cute little kind of nail screw thing, so I put that in there and added the clock. You could just keep going and going and going with these things. So that's all I have. I thought I would just show you around real quick. Here's my bed springs. I've kind of lightened that a little bit and got rid of some of the things on it. But um, but there you go. So we're getting ready to do Christmas. Angie just got here. So I'm going to go downstairs and start ripping into all of that. And then... Um, and then I'll do you another, I'll, I'll show you some of the things that we've made. So I didn't, I had a pumpkin up there. I just left it empty because I know we're getting ready to do Christmas. So anyway, Angie just got here. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I'm going to go down and start dragging everything up. You know how that is. And then I thought I would do a quick video showing you some things that I love um, that we've made to inspire you guys. Um, well, I haven't, they're all downstairs, Linda. I haven't brought anything Christmas up yet. I'm just getting ready to tear it down. And, um, you know, when like in the spring, what, January-ish, when you tear this all down, it'll all go back up differently. And then, of course, I'll show you guys again. But I just thought I would, I know a lot of times our little tours give you, um, give you ideas. So that's what I was um, just trying to inspire you a little bit here. Um, one, let me show you one last thing. It's so cool. So I have, and I need, I've got to put napkins on my grocery list because I only have one left. Oh, and I had a party. So my candle, when Abby was here, we lit the tree farm. These are the best, you guys. These are the best. I don't have any links for you. A lot of the Instagram people do, but it's called Tree Farm and it's by Antique Candle Co. Oh my gosh, that is the best. Um, 
oh, what's her name? The Vintage Porch. Um, good grief, why can't I think of her name? Anyway, the girl at the Vintage Porch, I can't believe I can't remember her name. She, that's her name, candle. That's her candle. Anyway, here we go. What I wanted to show you, I have an old paint bucket here. These old paint buckets get a little bit pricey, but boy, are they good. And then I made, there was, well, we're going to tear this up anyway. Oh, look, I have acorns on there. I got to put those away for fall. We got to tear this up anyway. Um, so this is a disc for like a tractor disc um, where you would plow the fields. And then I put it, uh, which is with E6000, on an old wire spool. And it made the really cute um, pedestal for me. So it's not too high, but it works out really great. And we love decorating it. And then there, I just, I always try to stick old spindles in. And I love the contrast of the painted spindle with the wood. So um, anyway, I got to tear that up too. <laughs> I forgot that I had, I forgot I had uh, acorns in there. So anyway, oh, and here's my my friend Tammy Merrick, she makes these, well, she makes necklaces and earrings out of old silverware. And she made this for me and she had a question. I can't remember what her question was, but I, she was getting ready to cut it. And I, I don't remember if it was like how long or do I want her to do something at the other end. And I asked her to leave it like this and I display it this way and she put love on it. And then I think, I forget what these are. I think it might be a T or an N or... I don't remember. Oh yeah, it's an N. She stamped me an N and put a little key on it. But she left it like this. And like I said, she's a jewelry maker, but I absolutely love it just like this. So her, um, her, uh, what's her call? I can't think of what her, she's in my group, Tammy Merrick. Um, ah, oh, I can't think of her name. Well, if you're interested, message me. If Tammy watches this, I'm sure she'll put her link what is this? Farm Charms. I think it's Farm Charms. Something Farm Charms, maybe. Uh, Antique Candle Co. is the name of the candle. AntiqueCandleCo.com. I'm sure you can find it there. Um, thank you, Michelle. Yep, we're going to tear it all apart. Today's the day. So, 509. Oh, yeah, she did change her name, didn't she, Penny? Yeah, I don't know. If you guys want to know about the, the jewelry from the old silverware, just... just you can text me. <laughs> you can text me. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Angie's here. We're going to go tear into Christmas. And then I will, um, like I said, I'll show you some of my treasures. So I'm not, if you're on my texting group, I, I texted you this morning and told you I'm not going to be texting you every five minutes. So um, 509 Farm Girl, that might be it. I don't know why she changed her name. It used to be Farm Charms. But yeah, five, 509 Farm. Penny, you might be right. I can't remember exactly. But um, if anybody's interested, just, just ask and I'll see your comment come through. Vintage Porch for the candle. No, it is Antique Candle Co. Um, the Vintage Porch is the girl that I found it from. Um, oh, and someone wants my number. Uh, it's, oh, yay, someone wants my number. I said it like someone wants my number. I'm happy someone wants my number. I got to go get it though because I never want to give you the wrong number. So it is 740. Get your pencils ready. It's Natalie from the Vintage Porch. Natalie from the Vintage Porch in, invented that um, scent for the uh, tree farm. And it is, it is by far my favorite. And every, they sell a ton of them. And, um, but it's called Antique Candle Co. And then if you want to follow Natalie, I get, uh, she does great stuff. She's the one that taught me about the Easy Off Oven Cleaner for stripping furniture. Amazing. Um, so my text number, if you're all ready, is 740-273-6693. I keep saying you guys are going to remember it before me. I'll say it one more time. 740-273-6693. If, oh, sure I can. If you, um, if you guys, uh, just message me, just say hi. Uh, here's one. So someone wants to see one of the things I made. Um, okay. So this is, it was just a hunk of wood that I found and it had metal on it. And so I was kind of getting into tying my old lace and then adding treasures to it. And so, um, I, and so we were using horse bits 
And so I kept one of them, but I thought this was really cool and I kind of needed something to fill in this little, I kind of have this little space. And so, and I bought this crazy thing at an antique show. And so we added this and I love it. Hey, thanks for sharing my number, Michelle. Um, and then somebody asked to see that. So hang on just a jiffy here and I'll show you. Here's the other one. Uh, Right here so this is actually the horse bit and then it's kind of it, it, she called it a tassel it's kind of the idea of the tassel but not exactly <laughs> not exactly a tassel but sort of so and then I just decked it out with a little bit of bling not too much and um it's a it's a horse bit so I I might have one left on my website I'm not sure I know when I was I was buying them up um and you guys were buying them up as fast as I could buy them up. So I, I might have one left. I, maybe. I'm not sure. If you're looking for one, just message me. I'm happy to put you on my list of things I'm looking for. Um, do you ever go to Barnesville? I have, Susie. Just it's been a long time. I usually go the Columbus direction instead of the Barnesville direction. So, yeah, it's been a long time. Um, so you guys are very welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, Susan. So um, I'll see you later. <laughs> but I'm not going to text you guys today anymore when I'm going live unless I go, like, late tonight or something like that. Um, my husband's going to be in and out. So, you know, I don't, you know, you know. So <laughs> I'll see you all later. <laughs> I got to go get to work. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>